Welcome to the Old Town School's Spotlight on the Mandolin, a very short but uh, complete description of the mandolin classes. I'm Colby Maddox, and I, I teach all the mandolin classes. And we are also going to talk a little bit about the instrument I'm playing. Um, this is from the Old Town School store. It's a wonderful instrument, so we'll save some time for that. Um, mandolin classes basically start off very similar to guitar classes where you learn chords, so you learn a shape to put on the fingerboard, and then you learn how to use your right hand to get sound out. It's a little different than a guitar because you're going to actually hit or brush the strings. Here's what that sounds like. That's a fun, complicated set of circumstances, but it, it basically starts like this. Like that. <laughs> so I'm, I'm just making a complete pass over the mandolin with each hit, and there's a combination of down and ups. Uh, I, I would say within the first couple of classes, we're going to be looking at a melody that, that we can pick out of that. So like, for example, it might start just with one note um, picked with a downstroke and then move to another note. But so it will only be like three notes, but then back to the one you started with, but they're all downstrokes. <laughs> That's it. Right? So, and then you very well easily can get into bringing some of that motion that you had with the strumming into that melody so that you get this. Just one note at a time. might bring another note in sometimes when you go on with it. So basically we're just, for the first classes, we're just working on getting the sound of the instrument to come out. And it's almost like a distinctive sound that you might hear uh, on, a, on, on many tracks, many regular like pop tracks, rock tracks, um, very similar to the accordion. You know, the accordion just plays these beautiful chords and people recognize it. Same with mandolin, it could be just that much, right? Taking it to the to other steps are potentially working on um, instrumental material that has no vocal behind it, but but is created just to be played on an instrument, and that that can be bluegrass tunes, old time tunes, Irish tunes. That's when you get into the different styles. Maybe an old blues tune like. That's that's a, the Florida blues. This is an old um, it's an old fiddle fiddle blues that we're adapting for mandolin. Um, that's of that's definitely of American American origins. <laughs> um, Florida was a huge area where African American musicians congregated, and and a lot of the fiddling that comes out of there is very has that real bluesy sound. Vassar Clements being <laughs> the main guy who brought that out. Um, there's other there's other types of flow to these to this. Like like an Irish sounding thing might sound like uh, ultimately I will often talk about bluegrass, but both elements, the, the swing and the um, and the raggy type bluesy sound plus this more pushy sound are definitely part of bluegrass phrasing. So, and now we're, we're really working with one note at a time on these instrumental tunes. Sometimes you get a, um, a cluster of notes that, that will come together. Um, unlike some Irish tunes will do that, like. Very, very similar in some ways is this tune called Blackberry Blossom, the B part of it sounds like. So that's, that's American, but based on...
This is an A5 mandolin made by Northfield. It's a wonderful instrument that the Old Town School Music Store carries. We always have one of these in stock or something similar. Um, it has incredibly good projection. It will sound really good in the room. Very, very punchy, not just loud, but very present. And also it blend, the blend is wonderful on these. Um, the blend between the strings. Let me do something so you can hear that. 